Hi guys. Yep. Uh, back at it. I went and got the uh, new power steering line. Uh, got it from O'Reilly's. Uh, here's the part number. And uh, we'll get started on this thing. Need to change it leaking like a sieve. So this is for the hydro boost. It's the high pressure side. From the pump to the hydro boost. Okay. The one that we are going after is this one right here. It's leaking right where it's crimped on at. You can see all the fluid everywhere. I pressure washed what I could so I can find it, which one it was. Uh, this is your return line. That's why there's a clamp on it. It's not under pressure. Uh, this is your the other high pressure, but it comes back from the hydro boost up to the steering box. And then the other one goes back into the pump. And that's a return from your steering box. So we got to go after this one, and the nut is on the bottom side so let's get under it okay as you can see she's really wet but that fitting right there is the one we're going after so uh, it's going to be kind of tough to hold on to this camera and uh, break that loose. So I'm just going to break it loose and then I'll show you from there. Okay, I cracked, I cracked the line <clears throat> but I didn't take it all the way out because I had to get back out uh, get rags and I wanted to clean the crud out from where so I don't get nothing in the pump. And also I ran, I'm going to run this uh, the new line down to it, but I got to put the, a rubber O-ring in it, which there's two of them, in the directions. But who needs stinking directions? But uh, I'm going to put them on, that O-ring on, and then uh, slip it back down in there. And I'll get back underneath and pull that off. Okay, I'm back under the truck and I got a catch pan because If there's any fluid still left in the pump, it's coming out Don't want to make a mess, but I loosened that up By the way, it's a 5-8 spinning didn't loosen it enough Now to find my wrench Five eighths or sixteen mil. Uh, I've still got some crud on that fitting, but uh, I should get that clean. Yeah, I don't have a freaking rag under here. Damn it! But you gotta do what you gotta do. I like to try and keep sh crud out of the out of the fitting once it's open and trying to put the new line in heck that's tighter than I thought I couldn't find my 16 mil but a 5 8 just fits it just cannot get the loose mouth okay Hard to do holding the camera and trying to wrench at the same time. Uh, I couldn't, couldn't find my line wrench either. I got I got to clean up my garage. That's all there is to it. There's no time. I think I might 
take this to the car wash another shot another time just to uh, uh, fresh wash underneath this thing trying to get around the oil lines oil ret cooler lines uh, not working and I don't want to bend them yeah I know they're rubber but then I'll be in the same damn predicament as I did with this which I'm going to change those lines anyways it's it's one of the bad downfalls with these trucks okay I know you guys don't want to see, see me doing this quarter turn not even a quarter turn at a time so I'll get back to you whenever I get it out okay <laughs> As you can see, I got her out, and she's draining. So now let's try to snake that new one into place, so I don't have to keep going up and down, up and down, up and down. It's kind of tight getting under here too. No comments that I'm fat. I am. So okay, I'm gonna put that in. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. She's in. Tight. Now let's go up top and uh, do the other end. Okay. Now we're up top. This one up here is an 18 millimeter. I found my 18, <laughs> but there she is. Don't try and hog on it. What do you want to bet it's not a finger loose? Huh, what do you know? I already have the O-ring and that on the other line, and the at line sitting there ready to be put in place so I'll just drop this out of the way now, the way they had it fed was up underneath there's a little there's a area in the wrong places but there's an area like a, a place for they where they go but the, the line is giving me a little bit of fits here the line up there we go I pressure washed the top side of the truck already so I made sure that this was pressure washed. I can't seem to get it lined up holding it with holding the camera and doing it one-handed. So uh, hold on a second. Let's see if we can set you guys up over here somewhere. There we go. Don't fall off of there now. You get hurt. So now you know that always happens. Drop a wrench and winds up in Mr. Nowhere Nowhere Land and So Yeah, I could come in from the other side. A lot more room, but I uh, like a challenge. And 
Hydro Boost that helped. They say they don't have room in here for uh, a brake booster. Well, I bet you there is. I mean, yeah, they sell the small little custom ones, but yeah, if the truck don't make enough vacuum, on one. but really can't run one then. But, okay. So that's tight. Let's get this old one out of here. Maybe. Come on. Come on. I'm being stubborn. There she is. Okay, now. I am going to top off the uh, power steering pump and see how she works. Get, the, get her bled out. I don't know. I'll have to read up on. I haven't done a hydro boost, but. Probably just crack the line, which I should do, just crack the line and turn the pump, turn the steering wheel to where it pumps fluid up to it until you see fluid and then tighten it up. Now let's let's see. Okay, I jumped in the truck and fired her up. And yeah. Uh, and I run the Filled up the, the uh, power steering. Now you turn the wheel back and forth, left and right, a few times. Lock the lock, and hopefully you pump the air out of the system. Pump it back to the back to the pump. I'm sure to hold. I'm just gonna hold that back. This one was left over. I'm gonna clean it up and I'll try it again. I said, I'm sorry, the engine was so loud. I've seen fluid running. I don't know if it was from the fan. I'm going to clean this all up as best as I can and uh, try it again. And I'm hoping <laughs> that that was the line that I was having an issue. As if not, I'm doing. I'll be going back to the auto parts store. So uh, done. What do you freaking know? Right? Can't win. So let me clean that up a little more and see what happens. That steering wheel some more. See what she looks like. Dry as a bone. Yep, yep, yep. Dry as a bone. 
Good, good, good. Now I'm going to check the fluid one more time. And the power steering pump, which is right here. Trying to wipe her off with one hand. Could just put my mouse and clean it that way. It wouldn't taste too good, what do you think? She said it's right at the line. So, looks a little on the milky side. So I may change that here in the future. But, uh, yeah, that's the high pressure line for the hydro pump braking system on the Chevys. And hey, now I got to do the brakes. Well, that's it for this job here. Uh, I'm going to do another video on the brake job. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't too rough. Dirty as heck, but what do you expect? It's a diesel. Um, but if you like the video, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Don't give me the finger. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think, what you want me to do. Come up with some new content. But uh, we will see you on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.